You're listening to The Low Blow on SWFight.com. Juan Hernandez with The Low Blow and Southwest Fight News here with Invicta fighter Jody Esquivel. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. You're back in the cage. It's been almost a year and a half. You said you didn't feel like it's felt that long, but... Yeah, you know, we were just trying to figure it out, and um, yeah, I guess it's been a year and a half, but I honestly, I don't feel like it's been that long. Um, I stayed positive through the layoff. You know, there was some changes with Invicta, but I just, I just stayed positive, and I stayed in the gym just trying to get better, so I feel like uh, the time's right, and it hasn't been that long. I'm excited. Now, Invicta is being streamed on UFC Fight Pass. How big is that? Do you, not just personally for you, but do you feel for, I guess, the sport for females there? Yeah, I think it's beautiful. I think, you know, a lot of people were um, talking crap or, or kind of worried about what, what the organization was going to do. But, man, I have complete faith in Julie and, and Shannon Knapp, and, and they've done nothing but paved the way for us. We have this platform, and now we're going to be on UFC Fight Pass. It's, it's amazing. It's um. It's an honor to be part of it, and it's an honor to be part of the first card that's going to be broadcasted on it. You and your opponent, Jenny Fry, they, both of you are actually one of the first fights on there, so you guys yeah. are kicking it off almost. Yeah, I'm excited about that too. Um, I like being in the beginning of the card. You know, you, you get done, and then, oh man, there's some fights that I personally want to watch, so I'm excited about, you know, I have a bunch of teammates on the fight, on the card, Tara La Rosa and, and Michelle's fighting the main event, and... And we've had a good camp all together, and, and um, I'm excited to be able to watch them perform as well. And I think the, the last couple of times that you fought, you've had a group of women out of this gym fight. So how does that change the dynamic when it's a bunch of you fighting on one card? It's good. It's, it makes camp super tough. Um, you know, every day you're held, you're held accountable, not only for yourself, but you know that um, Michelle needs a good sparring partner. So... Um, we, we just elevate each other, you know, and, and Tara, and, and and it just really helps having that group. We all understand what's going through. You know, we're two weeks, okay, we're one week. And and um, it's good to be able to have those teammates and, and lean on them, and, and you know that they're going to bring their best every day, and, and so am I, and it makes camp super tough. Yeah. Now your last time out, the bout didn't last too long. You were submitted, and then you had a boxing uh, card, I think, that you participated in January or December, I believe. but. What, what, how does this, this training camp change now that you came off two defeats in two different sports like that? You know, um, it's, uh, well, when you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you know what? Every, every time it's an experience and every time I feel like I learn from it. You know, mm. um, I went into the boxing match in New York where it's actually MMA is illegal. And uh, after the fight, they said we don't score MMA punches. You know, and so I was like, oh, why don't you go back to MMA where she came from? And I'm like, well, I came from boxing, you know? So, like, in my head I thought, well, that, well that's kind of cool because I am concentrating on MMA. I took the boxing match to stay busy and, and work on, on some things, and, and um, I felt like I benefited from that. I felt like I, I hit that girl harder than I've ever hit anybody um, with an MMA punch, supposedly. So, so I felt like I learned a lot from that. Um, the, the fight before that, I, I got submitted, and... I felt like that was an eye opener. You know, I feel like maybe I was cheating the game in the beginning where I was just pretending to um, be that mixed martial artist, you know, and, and now rounding my game out and feeling like wherever the fight goes, I'm comfortable. That's what MMA is. That's what mixed martial arts is. It's not defending the takedown and getting back to my feet because I'm confident in my hands. It's it's going the, the distance in, in every single aspect of fighting. And, and now and I feel comfortable and confident that I can do that. I've rounded myself out and I'm excited about it. So every loss, every experience, every fight camp, uh, I just build onto that, that, that wisdom, that knowledge, and, and I feel good about it. Can you demonstrate what an MMA punch is? That they were <laughs> I'm not really sure, but I have been asking for the tape for the, for, for the boxing match. I believe that it's more, it was more of an overhand, you know, a, yeah. more of the overhand A Marcos punch. Maidana punch. Yeah, exa exactly. <laughs> I was like, have you guys not been watching boxing? This is crazy, yeah. but... um. Uh, that I mean, I'd go back and fight again. I, I yeah. whatever, you know. Like my boxing record isn't that great anyway. I don't fight here <laughs> in the country much, so. Yeah. Um, but with Invicta here, you are fighting the United States in Kansas City, so. Yeah. Just the opportunity that's there for you. Talk about that. You know what? Um, I like going back to Kansas. People were kind of like, "Oh, when we're we gonna fight somewhere else?" But I know exactly where I want to eat after weigh-ins. I know the hotel. I know the area. I know which way I want to go for a walk before the fight. Like. 
I like that comfort zone, so I'm good with Kansas. Um, it's not cold this time, so that's exciting. Uh, good barbecue, awesome jazz. And um, the crowd and, and the fans there are, are awesome. You know, I've never had but anything but a good experience there, so I'm excited to go back. Yeah, second fight on UFC Fight Pass, September 6th. Best of luck. Thank you.